I'll show you this sort of normal image into the creative manipulation. So let's get started. Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you this sort of creative manipulation for the product which is the camera. So let's get started. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I'm closing it up and going to the file and then going to the new options. From here I'll take the 1200 and 1200 pixel and I'll take here 300 pixel per inch giving the name C-A-M-E-R-A -A, camera and hit the create button. We got our background and after that providing the name over there that is the BG and then going to the uh, gradient tool from here and after that going to this gradient and make this one into the radial and then we'll make the scale like uh, this so like that that's fine and now going to the file and going to the place emitted options here is our background this is our tree i'll insert that and right press rasterize the layer and providing trw which is the name of this masking that g from the keyboard and masking this out a little bit of masking from the downside and after that so now going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here we'll take the background which is this and we'll provide there so right press rasterize the layer that is the ground g r o u n d ground that's fine and now time to uh, adjust the color so I'm just merging it out by pressing Ctrl or Command E and after that Ctrl Shift Alter A or, or Ctrl Shift A which is the camera raw filter and from here we'll desaturate this one a little bit and uh, here the contrast a little bit up and the exposure a little bit down that's fine and hit OK that's good and now going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here I downloaded some cameras over there like that so i'll take the bigger one right press and rasterize the layer providing the name camera that's good and after that going to object selection tool selecting the object properly and after selecting the camera subject and going to the select and mask options from here i'll make this one smooth a little bit and edge shifting that is minus 20 which is good for me and here the layer mask options and hit ok so our camera we got that and after that this one i'll make this one apply layer mask uh, only the png over there it will reduce the file size of your photoshop document okay making this one a little bit of a smaller and placing over there and in the downside of the camera taking the blank layer that is the shadow providing the name the shadow going to the brush tool and making this one black and right press you can stretch like that so just select once press ctrl or command t you can make this one a little bit of uh, stretch more stretch like that so you can provide the stretch like that so that is the shadow okay we'll uh, provide another shadow by pressing ctrl or command j and making this one smaller and the area of the shadow should be a little bit up like that so that is the viewfinder shadow and hit the enter button that's fine and now lots of things we should add so in the background uh, we'll add another thing which is the forest when with the place embedded options here is our forest another one so we'll provide this one into the downside that's fine so our camera is ready and everything is ready background making them in a group which is the bg okay delete this white one uh, which has no uh, like need to keep over there going to the file and going to the place emulator options and now at first taking the man 
who is climbing by the help of the ladder and placing that over there so adjust the shadow and everything so this shadow or this shadow press ctrl or command t make this one a little bit of this and more stretch like that so yeah that's the good way so in the camera we'll provide the name uh, in a uh, man which is uh, cl1 the climbing one and in the camera taking blank layer and going to the gradient options and providing the gradient like that okay making it mask so that is the difference because of light is coming from the right side good and now going to the file and going to the place embedded options and from here we'll take this one which is climbing boy so hill providing a name and right press rasterize the layer that's fine and that is the camera and everything so press the control or command to select this area and you can mask it out so before that we have to mask it out and taking this one top of this selecting this human figure and selecting the heel and everything so separately you should select press ctrl or command j you will get only the person not uh, the other element so it will be our thing okay now mask it out and ctrl or command and hold it so you will get the area which should you delete so in this portion i am going to the brush tool and make this one black and right press and make this one roundish and removing this area okay that's good and the upper uh, outer side of the lens press the control again and going to the select and inverse and now i'll reduce the outer portion so we should uh, use the hard brush that is because of it will help you the proper like that so making this one smaller which will help okay that's good and this area you should remove okay that's fine our heel is ready press ctrl or command d it will help you our to deselect so that's fine and now going to the file and going to the place embedded options in this segment we'll insert the cloud over there yeah that's fine right press and rasterize providing the name c l o u d cloud that's fine going to the file and going to the place and options now we'll import a curl is climbing from here that is the jpeg file no worries about that rasterize that and g i r l providing the name and from the object selection tool select the area of this it will select and then now select and mask so select and mask is activated and smooth and making this one layer mask and hit ok so we got the transparent background apply layer mask and press ctrl or command t make this one smaller and providing over there so underneath of the cloud because of the cloud will help you out to uh, hide something like that so okay that's fine now time to add some bars and everything going to the place embedded options here are some bar png providing those smaller version that's good and now in a background portion we'll add some gradient so like that and a little bit of gradient not too much it okay and i'll make the opposite down it will make the depth over there and now in this area we'll add some like clouds and everything so how to do that that is the easiest way just right press and make this one stretch like that 
the brush and make this one white and uh, take a blank layer select once before that you have to take the soft brush and make this one stretch like that select once press ctrl or command t you can make that things bigger okay that is the bigger options you have to stretch that okay and hit the enter button press ctrl or command t and here you can uh, like uh, wrap this one so that's fine so press ctrl or command j press ctrl or command t right press and flip horizontal and again we'll place over there you can rotate a little bit that's fine you can place by using the third uh, like uh, arrow key that's fine so camera and everything all the stuffs will make another group which is element that's fine and bg element should be the middle of the artboard that's fine and now going to the text tool with photography so photography should be this this one should be in the middle of the artboard and it will be the middle okay that's fine so making this one bigger the color should be like ash that's good and photography this one should be like a poppins bold okay and it will be more bigger like that that's good and selecting all and now we'll reduce the gap between two lines that's fine okay and place it properly in the middle that's fine and everything is good our image is ready so after getting the readiness going to the color lookup options for the better color or matching the colors so going to the kodak options and you can try other one so that's good and we'll go to the overlay actually the soft light soft light is good and in this portion i'll reduce the fill color and our photo is ready now saving it out into my directory and then going to save copy as options saving it into the jpeg version and saving it out and hit ok so our design is ready so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and these sort of amazing tutorials in future until the next video is signing out bye bye and keep me in your prayers